What is going on guys welcome back in this video today we're going to learn how to render LaTeX formulas into images using Python. So let us get right into it. Alright so we're going to learn how to take LaTeX formulas and turn those into PNG images that we can then use in blog posts or in documents that are not LaTeX documents. Now, for those of you who don't know what LaTeX is at all, it's essentially a software system that allows us to create documents or papers in a programmatic way. So we can include packages, uh, we can use commands to define sections, we can have variables, we can define code sections, we can define algorithms, uh, especially with the different packages, you have a lot of um, customizability and you don't have to use some graphical user interface stuff to say, okay, this is bold, this is font size, whatever, this has this margin and stuff like that. You can do everything in a programmatic kind of way. However, LaTeX itself is not going to be the focus of this video. One thing that you can do in LaTeX is you can define formulas or you can write formulas uh, with the LaTeX formula syntax. So you can say um, you can use underscores for subscript, you can use the exponentiation sign for superscript, you can use uh, backslash and then Greek, uh, Greek letters to show Greek letters and stuff like that. Um, and then you can render this using LaTeX into a document that displays those formulas. However, we can also use Python to just take the formulas without a surrounding LaTeX document to turn those formulas into images so that they end up looking like this instead of some cryptic syntax that you have to decipher. This is a mathematical representation. Everyone understands this. Um, now, I'm not sure if this makes sense. I just uh, input something here. It uh, doesn't have to make sense what's, what's written here. Uh, but this is what we're going to learn how to do today. And for this, we're going to need a couple of packages. We're going to open up the command line and we're going to install matplotlib, also pillow and PDF to image. Those are the three packages that we're going to need today. And once we have those installed, we're going to open up a new Python file here, main.py. And we're going to import now um, matplotlib.pyplot splt. Then from pillow import image. And then from PDF to image import convert from path because matplotlib I think is going to produce a uh, PDF file if I remember that correctly I have my prepared code here on the second screen uh, matplotlib is going to produce a PDF file and then we need to transform this PDF file using PDF to image into an image unless you want to have it as a PDF file of course then you can also keep that um, and the first thing we want to do is we want to define a function that we're going to use latex to PDF uh, to PNG sorry PDF is going to be just a step in between uh, and what we take here as a parameter is a LaTeX string. So LaTeX str. And we're going to say now that we want to have a new figure in matplotlib. So plt.figure. And then we want to say plt axis off. So that we have a nice plain background. And then we want to say plt text. And here we're going to now say 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for x and y for the position. And then we're going to use a formatted string. And in LaTeX, what you need to do when you define formulas is you need to surround those with dollar signs. And we can just say dollar dollar. Then we add here using curly brackets our Python variable. And our Python variable is going to be a LaTeX string. So just so you have an example for those of you who are not familiar with LaTeX, if I want to say something like um, x to the power of 2 equals, or let's let's do something different. Let's say uh, theta to the power of two equals x, I would say dollar dollar back, uh, backslash theta uh, to the power of two equals x, or maybe I want to say x one uh, as a subscript. So then I would say x one, uh, something like this. So this is how you write LaTeX formulas. And this is why we have to surround them with dollar signs here. Um, besides that, we're going to say that we want to have a size of 50, we want to have a horizontal alignment of center, we want to have a vertical alignment of center. Uh, and that's basically it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to define a PDF path, which is going to just be here, um, result dot PDF, then we're going to have a PNG path, come on, PNG path, which is going to be a result of PNG. And what we want to do now is we, want, we just want to say PLT safe figure, 
and we're going to save um, to the PDF path with the format, not surprising, PDF. Um, we're going to also then say that the boundary box inches should be tight, but we want to have some padding. So pad inches is going to be 0 0.4. Then we want to say PLT close. Um, the figure and that basically just creates a text and saves it into a PDF file. That's the whole magic behind that. And now all we need to do is we need to say image um, convert from PDF path, or actually we need to say image just because this by default produces a list, even if it has just one element. So we're going to say convert from uh, from path, PDF path, and then we're going to say images index zero, even if there's only one image, save png path and then png is the file type here that's the whole magic so you can see actually the actual magic is happening in matplotlib this is all we need to do to render latex code we don't do anything manually here we just say okay matplotlib please render this text you have these dollar signs recognize this as latex code and that's basically the whole magic now we have latex code rendered into an image then we save it as pdf then we convert it to png and what we're going to do then is we're going to return the PNG path. Optionally, we don't have to, we can also just re enter it here. And now what we do is we say LaTeX code or LaTeX formula rather is going to be something simple. Let's go with um, theta, theta to the power of two equals x1 plus y2 or something like this. This is a very simple one. Uh, and now we're going to say PNG path equals LaTeX to PNG, LaTeX formula. And then all we want to do here is we want to say image equals, this is why we need pillow now, uh, because we want to display the image, we want to open it up. Now, if you don't want to open up the image after you created it, you can also just not import pillow and not install pillow. Um, we just needed to open the image. So we're going to say image dot open PNG path and then image show. And that's the whole magic. That's our whole application here. If I run this now, you're going to see, unless I made any mistake. Okay, this is a problem. Theta is not recognized. Um, I think because of course in Python we have escape characters. So I have to double, double backslash to actually get a backslash. Uh, and then you, we have theta squared equals x1 plus y2. And of course I can do something more fancy here as well. So I can go uh, and say something like sum from, uh, not from, sorry, sum underscore uh, k equals zero, and then uh, to the power of n. So this basically means sum from k equals zero up until n off, and this is now the, the third curly bracket combination here, uh, two, and then maybe something like c dot k. So that would be one idea for a, form, a formula here. Uh, again, we need to say backslash and we need to say, I'm not even sure, uh, since backslash s is not an escape character, I think this should work like this as well. There you go. So from k equals zero up until n. Now I'm, I'm wondering if this is false if I say backslash backslash or if this still works. I think this should still work, right? Yeah, there you go. So better to always do backslash backslash, just keep it safe. Um, here probably as well, right? So I think double backslash is never a, ba a bad idea. So yeah, there you go. Uh, and then maybe let's go with something more complicated. Let's do something like um, some integral, the crazy one that we had from before. So we can say here a fraction uh, where I have d and dx, so d over dx, just to indicate that I'm doing some derivative here. Um, or some integral, and then we can say left, and then we can say here a, uh, in parentheses, we want to have here the integral, so int, backslash int, and then why is this commented out, actually? So remember, we want to use double backslash everywhere, so backslash, 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 integral uh, from zero up until x, and then inside of that, we have f of u, 
backslash comma du right with a double backslash here again and then we have equals f of x again i'm not sure if this makes any sense i just made up something here but that would result in this here so you can just Google what the LaTeX notation is, but this is how you can automate this. And the reason you want to do that is because oftentimes you're not going to work with LaTeX, but you want to have some formulas that you can just render into your uh, blog post or something if you're writing about some mathematical stuff. Um, and the blog post is not going to use LaTeX. Maybe you don't want to install a plugin that renders LaTeX. Maybe you don't want to uh, use LaTeX. You want to use Word, but you want to have the LaTeX formulas. This is a very efficient way to do this, especially if you have already a lot of formulas and you just want to automate the process of turning all of those into PNG files. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.